Lord Sunblaze, thank you for your hospitality. It's the least we can do for the deputies who proved that there are still Sorax on Celasta. You've proved we cannot relax our vigilance. Did you find anything else that could help us track them? There was a parchment. If you find it, send for the char. You can read that? That last word, it's not Tamarian. It's in the Sorakath tongue. I knew it! It means general. You were wise to run. If you find anything else connected to the Sor Akath, or their allies, bring it to the temple. Talk to Chaplain Delan Lark. You will be well rewarded. Whenever you're ready, the council will meet again. It's an honor, deputies. Who are you? My name is Maddie Green Isle. I work for the Tower of Knowledge. I'm just a junior aide in the Council, but if you ever need to contact my superiors without going through official channels, just see me at the Tower, downtown. Why the sudden interest in us? You proved yourselves in the Badlands. Now, we in the Tower of Knowledge value skilled adventurers. If you find anything of historical value, we'll pay well. And, you know, if things go well, we might share some of our own secrets. All right, all right, we'll think about it. Uh, <clears throat> can I ask for a minute of your time, deputies? We're in kind of a hurry. I know, I won't delay you long. My name is Hedland Shorspell. I represent the Arcaneum. And the Arcaneum belongs to the New Empire. Do you really want to be seen talking to us? My business is magic, not politics. And no, I have no quarrel with you. You may not see us Imperials as friends, but we take the Council very seriously. We are particularly interested in anything from the Old Empire that you might find in the Badlands. Anything from the Manakelan era Arcaneum. Even more so. Oh, of course, we'd pay you handsomely for this crown. Although, I know that's not possible. You're smarter than you look. Also quite indifferent to mockery. Anyway, we have an unrivaled trove of magical and other knowledge. Think it's over. You can find me at the Gravekeep's cask. Really? Not at the Embassy? What can I say? I love Martel's beer. Even though it tastes like donkey piss. What? How did he- That was our joke. On the first day we met, was he spying on us? Maybe he just agrees about the taste. Would you have a moment, deputies? All right, but make it quick. I'll do my best. I am Joyel Foxeye, from the Circle of Denantar. The same magic school where the princess studies? Exactly. Is she a good student? A powerful wizard? That's not for me to say. And you seemed to be in a rush? Fine. I just want you to know that our Grand Master Edvin Denantar has noticed you. He talked a lot, for sure. He's a man of great authority. He'd like you to know that our doors are open to you if you'd care to visit us. You can find me at Sunblaze Court. Interested in Badlands treasures, I suppose, like everyone else. Well, if you ever come across old spellbooks or spell scrolls, we'd love to see them. In return, we have the largest collection of spells and potion recipes you could ever hope to see. More than the Arcanaeum? They would disagree, but yes. Now. If you were to prefer feeding the New Empire's wizards with more magical knowledge than the Principality, that would be a troubling choice to many on the Council. Neutrality means we don't treat you any differently than we treat them. Of course. Neutrality is the rule. Good day to you, deputies.
Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? We should go. Clear skies, my friends. Do you know Arwen Merton, the so-called first scavenger? Of course. That's it? Merton. It's a painful topic for me. I'd rather not talk about him. Fair enough. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Stay in the light, my friends. Greetings, Sorak Slayers. Hello. I am Halman Sama of the Guild of Antiquarians. I'm instructed to invite you to visit us at the Embassy of the Snow Alliance. You're based at an embassy? I thought the council was neutral. We don't have a house of our own in Kaya Kiflin, unlike the Tower of Knowledge. How about that for neutrality? Anyway, we'd be interested in any antiquities you might bring back. We pay very well even for things you might think are worthless. Like the scavengers. The scavengers? Well, they'd sell an antique emperor's sword for its metal value. But we can offer more than gold. Antique magical items, for instance. You'll never find their like elsewhere. Good to know. Thanks for the invitation. Honorable council members, please take your seats. Ah. Our crown bearer is up again. Lord Danantar has the floor. Thank you. I have confirmed that our deputy is indeed magically attuned to the crown. It is uh, an uncommonly powerful attunement, unlike anything I've seen. I strongly recommend against forcing separation. Chancellor Gorm's daughter? With the Council's permission, I'd like to try a little experiment. I have here the gem that Captain Merrin recovered recently. I have reason to believe that it might be... <gasps> As I suspected, it belongs to the Crown. What have you done? Commander, take Her Royal Highness to safety. No, wait.
Are you going to faint again? I just had a, a vision. What? A vision? In an instant? I, I was f fighting Sorax, but, but I wasn't myself. Then who were you? A paladin. Powerful from Tiamar. Hmm, that is unsettling. Let the crown bearer and the other deputies follow that quest. Find the other gems if you can, but keep us informed. In the meantime, we will formulate a response to the Sorax. Let's vote. Delegates, do you agree? Aye. Your Royal Highness? Oh, pardon me. Yes, I concur. To which proposition, Your Highness? I mean, I. They should go and find the diamonds, the gems. So resolved. Let it be recorded. Thank you, honored delegates. The council is now in recess. What was that? You had a vision? Uh, I can't, I can't explain. I just feel it. Anyway, we have a new mission. All right then. So where are we going, crown bearer? I think the crown knows. There's life yet, adventurers. Araki smiled on you. Lady of life, a follower of the goddess. We do require your services. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium.